So you've gotten into the new year. I know you've got a new tour coming up pretty soon, yeah. right? And the first gig is pretty badass. It's kind of say. a big deal. Yeah. Kind of a big deal. Yeah. Kind of a big yeah. deal. I'm pretty nervous. Yeah. I'm playing uh, the Opry for the first time um, on Friday. So uh, I, I spoke every day. I've, you know, spoken a new, well, and a clear intention and, um, you know, cause I tend to get pretty nervous and like really big buildings. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, but I'm not, um, so I, I know I just did speak that into the universe, but I haven't until just now. <laughs> and I'm like, take even back. if you're not performing in that building, if it's just a big building, you're nervous. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, that's a good point. That's a good point, Patrick. No, if I was sitting in the audience, even sometimes, like if it's high ceilings or it's, yeah, it's just big spaces. There's a, yeah. there's, there's a fear for that. I get it. Yeah, but fear is fear is something of the personality, not of the soul. And so my soul is not afraid. So I'm going to lead with that. And I, my intention is to make people happy and hopefully make a good impression and not like have my dress, like fly open on, it's too tight. <laughs> Is what happened. It's too small. <laughs> and I'm scared, but um, I also think it would be absolutely hysterical. So, well, that too. I'll that wear good. Too. <laughs> yeah, that too. That's funny. Yeah, I mean, it's a it, great it, start on this. Right, podcast. right. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I mean, that is a power. That would be a powerful way to make a statement there at the right. old Opry, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. A absolutely. good, bad impression or a bad, good impression. Yeah, I think it's um in a way it might be good that it's like the first one you know yeah, I don't yeah. know I, was that on purpose or I mean you're playing like 10 to 12 gigs something like that am I right yeah yeah and I, I wish it was more and it would be I mean uh this is kind of a strange time because Henry my son's about to graduate in May so I've intentionally kept a lot of space open got but it June, okay June will be really packed with shows and I'm bringing my mom with me on that tour oh, and wow. uh, ho hopefully Henry, but Henry uh, might have an internship or something. I don't know. So, yeah, so we'll see, but I'm excited to bring my mom with me. That's exciting. So the tour that you'll have this summer, she's, she's going to come on. Was that her choice? Your choice? Both uh, choice? Well, my choice. And also this band, this family called the Canaans that live up in the North, uh, the Northeast. I did a show up there, just the most delightful. Um, they have a pub downstairs in their home. Um, and they built it, you know, just for family, you know, to go down and it looks like an Irish pub. It's unreal. Like you oh, open, wow. like it's, I think they used to what run liquor down there and stuff back in the, what would that be? Prohibition like era. Prohibition era. Yeah. The twenties. The twenties. Maybe. Okay. So it, was, it, it looks like that down there and it, it, it was that. And anyway, one of the brothers, wow. there's like 10, 10 brothers and a couple of sisters. I don't know. <laughs> they're like this little house in the family type type. Uh, I mean, prairie type family. And um, they have become obsessed with my mother <laughs> <So> <laughs> during the show. They kept yelling. I think I told a story about her and they kept screaming, bring mom back, bring mom back. Wow. This particular little town they live in. Um, is one of her favorite places in the world, and she only got to visit once. Um, so I'm bringing mom back. It's <laughs> it's great. kind of it's sort of a must. I, I think they would probably not let me play if I didn't have her with me. So yeah, you show up. Uh, where's mom? Where's your mom? Yeah, yeah. where's your mom? Yeah, thank you, <laughs> Lee. We're we're happy you made it, but yeah, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Is this the first time your mom has gone with you like this on a tour or yes, it will you? be. Oh, yeah. really after yeah, all this time after all this time wow it makes okay. her sad to see me play it's weird it makes her really she, yeah that's yeah. interesting what's her reasoning behind that you know, i am a mother and it's still hard for me to understand but i think a lot of the songs you know are the the contents of them oh, okay. are very personal and, and sure. nothing to do with her sure um, sure a lot about my dad but um he was awesome too but um but yeah i think a lot of it she's like uh can i just stay at the hotel or 
Like she's just <laughs> afraid of afraid of getting like super vulnerable in front of in front of a bunch of people, which I totally understand. Happens Absolutely. to be my superhero. I mean, superpower. <laughs> I swear I'm not drunk. I'm not high. I'm not high. I, I had to wear a hat because I braided my hair. I don't. Let's. You have another question. You know, you got the you got the Grand Old Opry. That's the the first one that's, that's coming up. Um, yes. And after that, you're kind of you're moving around quite a bit. To be honest with you, are there any other ones you're super excited about? Um, you're looking forward well, to? I yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure excited. all of them, quote unquote. But um, I know next week isn't really a tour, but I'm getting to do some really cool recording with some really exciting people. So I'm excited about that. Well, they might not be exciting people, but I'm a big fan. <laughs> it might be enormous bores, but that's like, we're going to have to do another podcast uh, just to talk about whether they were bores or not. And then I can tell you who they were and if they suck. Um, but anyway, they're, they're not going to, it's going to, it's going to be amazing and I can't wait. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I'm excited about all the shows. I just love connection. I just, I, I missed it when, when we weren't doing it, uh, oh, for that, you know, year and a half. Yeah. Um, uh, I, you know, I know a lot of musicians are still holding off and I don't blame yeah. them at all. Sure. I went to, uh, um, you know, a, like a seaside type music festival and that's where I got COVID. Um, oh, and so man. I think almost everybody there. So definitely. Um, but luckily it was Omicron. So it was, uh, not as severe and, and I'm vaccinated and boosted and all that. But anyway, um, no, I'm excited about everywhere. I, I have to say that that June part, that's when most of the shows are happening. And I'm looking forward to that the most because Henry's graduation will be over. So like my face, I can just put ice packs all, you know, it'll be healed up by then from the just laying on the floor, just crying. And then, uh, <laughs> And, uh, and then, you know, I just feel like June is just sort of the, it's, it's like a new chapter. That's when a new chapter starts. It's also the month of my birthday. My mom's going to come with me and yeah, things just feel good. And maybe even Henry will come, but he probably should be working. Doing some preparing for the yeah. CIA for life. Or yeah. Some, yeah. Or that too. Yeah. yeah. No, that, that sounds like, look, it sounds like 2022 is going to be a nice year, you know, getting back into things. I pray so. Yes, right? it yeah. seems. Yeah, seems like it so far so good. Okay, that's awesome. No, I'm I'm really I'll happy to it. hear that. Right? Yeah, yeah, I think we all need that. Um, yeah, for sure. And I and right. I uh, um, I think it was um, was the artist. Uh, yeah, I think his name is from San Francisco. It'll come. It'll come to me. But I he just did his first show, Matt. Uh, doesn't matter um okay. I, I he, he might prefer me not to talk about his name anyway um <laughs> but i he had not played any shows and has been really careful and has gotten kind of quiet on instagram and he's usually really really um you know just he's hilarious and making his fans laugh and really connects with people and i kind of noticed less and less and less and then the other night he posted at an after show, just sort of synopsis. And it made me cry. It was so sweet. And it was like, Aww. he forgot how incredibly important it is for him. And as well as, as hopefully, you know, your fan or whoever is coming to see you, but that, that connection for us, it's like, uh, you know, no matter who you are, or what you do, um, I think we all need it. But, um, but I know for me, it feels like an, an extension of my body. And, and when I don't have it, it's like something slowly being drained out of you. And so, so I can't pinpoint one show. I do get to go to New York city though. And I haven't been since all this started. So I I'm pretty excited to play. Oh yeah. Uh, to play there again. And, and I, I love the city. Um, so it's a great I'm city. Looking forward to that. Yeah. 